Hey, what's up guys? This is Cohans1973. I haven't got too much mail back the last week, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do um, a TTM mail day recap for the last week, and then I'm going to do a show it off Sunday. So we'll go ahead and start with the um, TTMs. I got two of two from Shandella Powell. She is a UFC ring girl. There's one. And there's the other one. So these are really nice to me. Um, I like her. Um, I actually got I emailed her off of um her website, and like three months later, she sent me an email back saying thank you, and she gave me her personal address and told me to send her what I want to send her, and she would sign it. So um, that was pretty cool. Then I got this one that I sent away for this one so long ago I don't even remember. This is before it was even on YouTube, and I got it back. This is Byron Scott, coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's coach of the New Jersey Nets. Coach of the Charlotte Hornets, actually the New Orleans Hornets. So he did one on one. Um, not a big fan of any of those teams, but um, I am a huge Laker fan, so I wanted this as part of my Lakers PC. So it's hard to see the autograph, even on the card, it's still hard to see it. But that was cool, I guess. And then they sent me this Cleveland Cavaliers. Thank you for your continued support of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, whatever. I guess they need as much support as they can get. They are struggling big time without LeBron. So hopefully um, they'll start to play a little bit better. Now, um, I started doing TTMs probably about 20 years ago. And then I had quit for a long time. But um, here are some of the better TTMs I got. And it was a lot easier to get TTMs because it wasn't such big money back then. So um, here's one that I got. Two Drew, holy cow, Phil Rizzuto. So obviously Phil Rizzuto's passed away. So this is very valuable to me. This is to Drew Brooks Robinson, Hall of Fame, third baseman, I believe, from the Baltimore Orioles. I don't believe he does TTM anymore, but um, anyway, Brooks Robinson, so that's another awesome success. This is Rick Sharon, catcher from the New York Yankees back in the early 80s. Um, he definitely still does TTM, so as a matter of fact, I just recently sent one out, so I'm waiting for him. This is Ron Sloboda. Um, I believe he was on the World Series when the Mets won it in 69. So, pretty cool. Gil McDougal. Um, I don't know if he does TTMs anymore. I'm not sure if Gil McDougal is still alive, actually. I got this a long time ago, and he was a member of the New York Yankees. So, Gil McDougal. This is... Bill White, he used to um, teleclass Yankee games, and I believe he was a ball player, but um, much before my time. So um, I used to always watch the local Yankee games when I lived back in New York, and I was a fan of Bill White, so he sent this to me. Here's one that people are starting to get back now. Um, this is Yogi Berra. He grew up in the same town as my dad did in New Jersey. Um, this is definitely legitimate. I don't know about the ones that are people are getting are now. They do look very similar to the ones that are coming through now, so I do believe the ones that people are getting from Yogi Berra are authentic. Um, the signature is not quite as clean as this one that people are getting back, but I mean, Yogi Bear is a lot older now. This was done in the early 80s. This last one is um, an in-person one. I got the Little League World Series when I went there when I was younger. Um, I went to a baseball camp, and we played on the Little League World Series field, and the Little League World Series was there at the time, and Jim Palmer and Jim McKay were both there. And um, Jim Palmer's Hall of Fame pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles, and Jim McKay is... Um, a very prestigious anchor. Um, I believe he broke the news during the, what is it, the 72 Olympics with the terrorism. He broke that live. I believe he was the first person to break in. Yeah, actually, I'm not quite sure about that, so I'll just leave that part out. But anyway, this is Jim Palmer, Jim McKay. This was in person. And I got this in 1985. Anyway, that's all I got for now. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope you had a good week.